Do you need an MRI to determine how severe an MCL injury of your knee might be? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. An MCL injury or medial collateral ligament injury is a very, very common injury of the knee in athletes who play contact and collision sports. You can get it in other things, but typically it involves a traumatic event. Well, how do you determine that that's what the injury is and how do you determine how severe an injury that is? And so I'm going to answer that question in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video. Okay, Jim asks, I'm suffering for an MCL injury for two weeks now, but my doctor hasn't asked for an MRI. Is there any symptom that may indicate the grade of my injury? I think it's a terrific question. So the MCL is a big thick ligament on the inside of your knee, the, the medial side, the side closest to the midline of your body. Typically it's injured with some kind of force that opens up the inside of your knee um, right there, uh, something that goes like that. So you get hit on the outside of the knee. Now. Very often, as an orthopedic surgeon, especially one that does sports medicine, I don't typically get an MRI to, if that's all I'm worried about because an MCL injury usually doesn't need surgery. Now, if I'm worried that there may be an ACL tear or if I'm worried there may be a meniscus tear, you, know, you might get an MRI looking for those because those are injuries that very often need surgery. But if I'm just worried about an MCL tear, you know, I'm going to basically put you in a brace, you know, and try to get it to heal. Now, as far as determining the grade of injury of that MCL, there is a way that we can have a pretty good idea of how torn that is. Basically, there's three different grades of injury. There's grade one, there's grade two, and grade three, which are sort of uh, mild, moderate, and severe, sort of a stretch of that ligament, a partial tear, and a complete tear. And we can get a sense of that and potentially even sort of grade it by how much the knee opens when we do a test of that uh, motion in, uh, the, in clinic. Basically, if it opens less than five millimeters, grade one. If it opens five to 10 millimeters, grade two. If that joint opens more than 10 millimeters, it's grade three. Uh, so that would be potentially one way to determine how severe it is. Now, you could get an MRI to make that diagnosis for sure and we'll do that a lot of times in college and pro athletes just to be sure we're not missing anything and honestly so the team can plan how long it's going to take before somebody's back but a lot of times that's true your doctor may not get an MRI if you know, he or she's only worried about an MCL tear, one, because if that's all you have it's not necessarily going to change the treatment and it may save you a little bit of money. Alright, if you've had an MCL tear did your doctor get an MRI? How did you determine that's what the injury was or if there was any other injury present? And then what did you do to get better? I'd love to hear your experience. And honestly, I think viewers all around the world would love to hear it as well. So below this video, share your experience, share your comments so we can all learn from those. Okay. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention, I record two to three videos every single week. And if you subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button in the upper right corner of this page, they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments about MCL injuries. If you know somebody dealing with an MCL injury of the knee, please share this video so hopefully it can help them. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.